Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Monique the Stylist here and I am here with another haul you guys. So if you are interested in this shopping haul, please stay tuned. Hey, hey guys, welcome back to my channel again. Monique the Stylist here. I am here with another haul. Yes, so we have kind of like an array of different places of some things that I have gathered over the past couple of weeks um, since being back from vacation. And y'all, how y'all liking this 90s vibe makeup, y'all, with the hairstyle and the bamboo earrings? But we're going to get into those. So anyway, you guys, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. All my information is down below. Make sure you hit that notification bell. And for my loyal supporters, hey babies, hey y'all, good to see y'all again. <laughs> so we are about to get into this haul. The first thing that I am going to point out uh, which you'll be able to see my mini review on um, Amazon.com. This is a wig by Recool Hair. This is my second unit from them. And I am digging this bob vibe with this curly hair, honey. This is a 10A 13 by 4 lace front wig. It's 12 inches and it's pre-plucked and you can not apply it glueless. However, I did decide to glue, install the wig. Also, see how natural the parting and everything is? And it does go all the way over. Now, this side is dried. This has been dried. Um, so, this is how the curls dry out. And this right here is a piece that I had just wet it down. Um with my water and conditioner mixture and so that's the wet look and then this is the dry look the drier curl look with this bob i do love it i do suggest just like with any wig especially nowadays with the sanitation and everything um processes that they go through in the warehouses that you do wash your unit prior to installing it okay guys so next thing let's talk about the beauty supply store it kind of goes hand in hand these bamboo earrings y'all i do not wear clip-ins but baby and excuse me no i did not put my edges down um but these earrings honey are clip-ons i don't normally wear clip-ons but they were super cute and um I wanted them, so I bought them. <laughs> and so I got these from the local beauty supply store. Also, um, you guys know I always wear protective styles. I've been natural now for about five or six years. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grow my hair out after this last chop that I did. So I'm going to take care of my hair more under my wigs. I'm really considering going back into a relaxer, but that's for another conversation. But while I'm treating my hair and growing it out, there are two things that I did get from the beauty supply store, which is tea tree oil, which is really good for when you're growing out your hair. And this was a dollar. 79 at my local beauty supply store and then avocado oil so these two products i'm using right now for my natural hair um i may do a natural hair video not quite sure if i'll talk about my natural hair journey but that is a possibility also i am thinking about um, coloring this wig normally I do not like box colors because I am a certified hair colorist I am shaming myself but I kind of want to do something quick without doing the chemistry and so um, I got a honey blonde and a light gold and blonde I'm thinking about doing dark roots with high and low lights using the cream of nature box colors for this wig 
Um, it does give you a comparison on the side for when you start off, what level it should lift to. So, mine's will probably be the last two um, once I do it. Um, if I decide to do it, like I said, I would keep my roots dark, so I would only be coloring. Um, if I decide to do it, honestly, I would probably only be coloring this much down on the hair with the high and low light. So, I don't know. It may be a custom color. I haven't really decided yet. I'm kind of digging this color. So, we shall see what I do with that. On to the next. So, I wanted a new phone case. And I don't know. Hold on, y'all. I'm back and I'm sorry. Looks like my ring light went out because it's connected to my computer through USB and the power went out. So, sorry guys. So anyway, I don't know if you guys have heard of Flamingo.com. Well, Flamingo.shop. Um, I get a lot of my phone cases from here. And so I did order me a new phone case. I have a Galaxy S8, and so this is the new phone case that I got. You guys know that I love my bling. I like these because of the thick sides. I can stand my phone up if I want to, and then it also has a built-in stopper if I am doing something on my phone or watching TV on my phone and not on my computer or my TV, so got a new phone case from them. So the next thing is, I went to um, Target, and from Target, I got. Um, I take this back. I got these from Walgreens. Sorry, y'all. These came from Walgreens. These are um, hand clean cleansing toilet wipes um, with antibacteria and sermicide so got some sanitizing wipes because of course doing everything that's going on you can never have too much hand sanitizer wipes or things like that so the next thing is target so from target um i know the micellar water is usually you know the Garnier or the other ones that I've seen, but I decided to use Target's brand. Get Target's brand if you guys can read it. And honestly, so far how I've used it, I love the way that it cleans my face and um, gets rid of makeup. I only pay like, I think $5 for this at Target. And it's the Target brand. I really like it. Um, I would recommend it. Of course, it does wipe off everything, but you're always supposed to clean your skin. And let's see. The next place is Sally's Beauty. So I have been running around town trying to find me a wax stick. No one had any in stock. Went to Sally's. They only had two left. This is the Kara Care wax stick the styling wax stick so that's how this is laying perfectly and no i didn't use a hot comb to it after i used this i just used this straight on the hair and combed it down um to kind of mold it but i like that your hair is still movable with this it smells really great um it was 15 dollars. i will say it is a little bit expensive Thank goodness I get a discount because I am a licensed professional. Okay, and then the last place is Walmart. You guys know I usually stay in Walmart or I'm always shopping on Amazon. <laughs> so I, um, oh, take that back, y'all. See, I keep having to retract. I also got these rings from Target, y'all. I'm a little tired today. <laughs> so I got these stacked rings from Target. Um, I paid $10 for them. These are in a size 8. 
and so you can wear them like this you know the stackable rings y'all know the drill or stack them all up on one finger that looks good as well so yeah and so it was befitting that when I went to um, Walmart that I found these to go with my rings so I love their 288 jewelry costume jewelry because It doesn't fade. Um, it takes forever to fade and it doesn't break me out. So those are the earrings. And then this is the necklace. So these together go really good with the ring. You see the vibe I'm giving with the right outfit? And then from Walmart, check this out. Kiss nails, y'all. The Jelly Fantasy. So how cute would all of this look together? It's a whole vibe. It's a whole vibe. And then you guys know that I love my press on, so I couldn't resist getting these from another pair of Kiss. These are the Masterpiece ones. And these are a vibe as well. And I paid $10 for this set of nails. And then the other set of nails, I paid $7.99. And these both came from my local Walmart. So, y'all, this wraps up this haul. I'm so sorry that it was so short. I promise I will have other ones coming. But I hope you babies enjoyed. Again, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that you won't ever miss any of my videos or vlogs. And make sure to check out all my latest vacation, vacations, and other vlogs and videos that I have. I hope you babies enjoy. Again, for those that have been continued support, I appreciate you and thank you so much. And I hope you babies have a great day. Mm -hmm.